guys what's going on it's FIFA Beetle and today I have a little video for you guys since foot champs is about to start I want to help you guys choose the best striker best OP player in different positions you guys are all using pace right now and that's cool and that's great but when it comes to finishing they have like 70 finishing they have like 75 shots they miss half the shots they're not consistent and when you're in a weekend league you really want to make your shots count so right here I have a striker that is sacrificing pace but is giving you something and that something is finishing hopefully at least now this player right here that's on screen I've had him for a good while his name is uh, Ilicic I think is how you pronounce it I've had him since the last FIFA and that's pretty much why I discovered him and then I started seeing him play in real life he is from Slovenia right here you can see his height is 6'3 He's a pretty big dude, he's left footed, so that's pretty cool. So right here you can see the games to goals ratio right here. And I've had this guy, let me tell you, since Division 5, I'm currently in Division 2 right now. And we're on our way to Division 1, we're pretty close, we're just a couple wins away. We should be there by, who knows, probably next week. Right here you can see he has 39 games played, 40 goals, and 32 assists. Now that's pretty, that's pretty good. And the crazy thing is, he plays a, more of a striker, center forward style. But I have him playing as a cam, and I have him pretty much playing as a center forward type of cam, like a, like a number 9. So right here you can see I don't have him with any chemistry style, I have him on basic. And uh, on basic you can pretty much see how his stats are affected right here. So the key, uh, I guess you could say, uh, stats for being on basic that I like, and that's why I kept them on it, kept them on it is positioning, shot power, long shots, volley, vision, short pass, curve, ball control and dribble Now that's a reason why I keep him on finishing or I mean on basic I recommended chemistry styles that I recommend for him if you end up using him more of a more as a striker I recommend going Hawk and that uh, the key uh, I guess you can see on screen right here the key uh, uh, attributes out of Hawk is positioning finishing shot power and long shots now those are pretty important Positioning, you always want a guy that has either makes good runs or is always in a good little pocket of space. Finishing, of course, you want him to finish. You don't want him to have that 75 shooting that your 99 pace players have right now. Shot power, and let me tell you, shot power mixed with long shots, now that goes a long way with this guy. That It's very important, especially for a cam. You want to have long shots, shot power inside the box. Just blast it. The goalie pretty much... 8 out of 10 times cannot react to his shots. Now if you're going to play more as a Hawk, like I said, it's a good little cam cam chemistry. If you're going to use Maestro on him, the key stats, I guess you could say, out of his uh, using Maestro would be shot power, long shots, volleys, vision, free kick, short pass, long pass, reactions, and dribble. Now those are the key stats that I find very important from the Maestro chemistry. Now if you want to sacrifice what is it uh shots for pace you can go ahead and get the engine now that'll do you just fine just pretty much you're sacrificing shots which he doesn't really need help with but it's always good to help people with finishing especially in weekend league but pace is also important in this game so if you want to use him as a striker and you really want to kind of make him the ultimate striker i recommend a hunter card now with hunter the key stats from that is acceleration positioning his finishing improves shot power, volleys, and penalties. Now all those are very important. Acceleration over pace is something, I, or I mean over sprint speed is something I find very important. If you ever have that feeling when you, you find like a, a 96 or 95 rated player, or I, I guess 89 pace player, and you feel he's sluggish, it's pretty much uh, most likely that his acceleration is before or below his sprint speed. Now when it's above his sprint speed, uh, acceleration you, you feel the difference you feel him get to that speed a lot quicker than I guess vice versa whatever I don't know if I'm making sense so uh, this guy is very versatile I guess if that's the word to use I, I like to use him as a cam even though he's more uh, he's pretty much meant to play striker you could use him as striker I like to put him up as striker when my strikers aren't doing the job but as cam I like him I give him the instructions to stay forward I play him in a 4-2-3-1 you could see here on screen this is my current team I uh, start in a 4-4-2 and then in game, this is pretty much how the team ends up looking like. You could see that I have them playing pretty much playing a strike or a, a central attacking midfielder right there. And uh, with instructions, like I told you, I leave them at stay forward. And then that's pretty much it. I let him do his thing right there with all the instructions at basic. And uh, he pretty much does a great job as a cam. Uh, his a weakness, I'm going to mention it right now because I might forget to put it in the video, is his stamina is not the best. So I always substitute him around the like 65th minute around there but either way he does the job he gets 65 minutes in sometimes if you feel 
He's getting a little sluggish and is not able to compete. I sub him in for a quicker player. I usually put Lozano down as a cam. And then it pretty much works out like that. So I always have a backup plan. I always have an OP uh, sub. And this guy could lead the pack as striker or as cam. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to just say right now before the, I guess, the little gameplay starts. Alternatives for this guy I recommend. is one right here. His name is Ribic. He's pretty much almost similar but faster as you can see his acceleration and his sprint speed. They're way faster than Ilicic. And uh, he has less finishing but I mean this is a cheap alternative. I got him for around 4,800. He's currently going for like 1,900 probably less than that. If I didn't mention before the price I got him for 3,400 Ilicic. And uh, let's see how much he's going for right now. Currently going for like around... 4,000 around there pretty much is an average not too much very uh, cheap and inexpensive for a cheap team that you're trying to make now another cheap alternative and one that I recommend that's pretty much underrated I don't know why maybe because he just isn't as appealing is Andrea Belotti right here this guy is only worth 850 coins as when I bought him you could see how many games he has played and how many goals I've had him since division 5 all the way to division 2 and he's still getting the job done. A very important fact to this guy, he has 5 star weak foot. And uh, that's pretty much, that, that's very deadly in goal. Especially when he has 88 finishing that mixes very well. 76 acceleration and 76 sprint speed. That, that combines very well together. A more expensive alternative I have right here is Immobile. You can see that he's a little a bit quicker. Way better attacking and way better finishing with a good shot power. And uh, he has high medium work rates. You can see I've had him. I think I bought him at the beginning of Division 2. He has 7 games played, 9 goals and 2 assists. He's just a bit more expensive around the 30,000 coin mark at least on Xbox. Alright, so right here we're going to go over some key facts. You can see some gameplay of Ilicic right here on one-on-ones, making it easy for his, uh, I guess, chances. His positioning right there is glistening. Right here you can see him applying some pressure. His dribbling, look at his, uh, his dribbling <laughs> is pretty crazy, but he gets out of spots, but he can finish. Look at that. Now this is Division 3, Division 2 gameplay still. It's, uh, it's very very different in these divisions as you can tell it's it makes it he makes it look easy I guess you can see Lozano right there putting in some work but Ilicic, Ilicic is there to finish the job now I want to talk over some cons and some pros really quick and uh, some cons I have for this man right here <laughs> he needs some milk does anybody want to shout out the cons that I have, you know, is uh, his pace. His pace, he's, he's, a, he's a slow, he's a big man. He's a slow man, but look at him. Look at that. Does, does pace look like it's affecting him there? I don't think so, man. And his balance, why even mention balance when he just did that to a keeper like that? Aggression. Now, aggression I find a con because, you know, sometimes you want somebody that's just pressuring like crazy. Kind of like a cokehead like Vardy, you know, someone that's just cranked up on some Red Bull. I mean, this guy looks like he's cranked up on Red Bull. Look at him flexing right there. But I mean, he's just, he's just not that aggressive, but he gets the job done, you know, he does what he needs to. Now headers, for a big ass dude, you expect him to have some freaking headers, but it's just not happening with this guy. You can see, if you look up his stats, he probably has, I, forget, I think it's like 60 jumping with like 60 something heading. I mean, blast the ball to his freaking dome and it, it will rebound into goal, I'll, I'll assure you that. Now, uh, look at him flexing. He's going crazy right there, man. Let's look at this play happen. So it's happening all the way back from Vidal. Here we go. He's making a run. He doesn't give up. His 71 pace. He's running with freaking swimming shoes. He takes on the keeper. Balance what he says. He gets the job done. He flexes. Now that's his thing. Here we go. We see Vidal passing it. Starting it from the midfield. Mangol and passing it to Belotti. The man I told you about. There he goes. His alternative. Belotti doing some moves. And I don't know why he showed Belotti, actually. That's... Belotti's goal, but look at him flexing. <laughs> there he is, Nangol, and there he is, Ilicic making that give and go. Oh, look at that, he's making people slide because people don't know he's left footed. People don't know these weird ass players that I use. People won't know these players that I use because they're just different. Everyone's used to the main meta of using the same players over and over again. Everyone knows Jervinho's right footed, everyone knows Messi's left footed, everyone knows Ronaldo's right footed, but no one knows if Ilicic is left or right footed. Right there, he finished with his right. He, he got a fly in his eye, so he covers it. There he is, making a freaking run from the back. Look at Belotti, cuts back, passes it to his friend Ilicic. Ilicic says, here, let me do some skills. Let me cut back. Boom, take this guy out. So his pros, you can see, is positioning. I want to say finishing is another pro. Dribbling, as you can tell, is a pro. His curving is freaking amazing. Look at him right there. Boom, I call that a curve. 
Now long shots, this man has beautiful long shots. He's a four star, four star. So what more can you ask for from this man? Look at Lozano running. He's got his freaking chanclas on. He just got out of the beach. He's he's he had to fix his sandal right there, but boom, passes it back to Illicit twice. Put fixes his little chancla. Illicit says, "Hold on, we're in the middle of a game, dude. Let me finish this, and let me do my job." Here we got Lozano again, pushing it up. He's got his work boots on. He just got done painting a house. That's not racist. Don't even worry about it. Here we go, crosses it to the big man. The big man has volleys. Let's see this last play play out right here. Look at him belly sledding like a penguin. Muriel, another good uh, striker. That's OP. Here we go, we're talking about aggression. Just look at, look at my man right there. Make him aggressive, aggressive positioning. And he he just he just gets the job done. He flexes one more time for you guys right there. And I can't say anything else, man. I say I just I just recommend this guy. I hope you guys use him. Let me know how you guys like him if you do end up using him. And uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been FIFA Beetle. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video. If it feels helpful in any way. I'm reading off a of paper, so sorry if you heard some pages turning because I'm not really good at uh, voiceovers. So it's probably going to be like a black screen or something random playing throughout this part. So thank you guys for watching. Please uh, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay Gucci, not Gucci. And actually, one last thing about this guy. Now, the division I recommend this guy in is uh, obviously keep him. I, I want to say Division Two might be his last, his last chapter to his story. So I want to say if you're Division Three or below, I recommend this man. Foot champs, he should do you just fine if you do some instructions and tactics that'll help the man out because this man is there to score goals. You have to provide the goal, the the assist for him. Bring him the speed; he'll be there. Now the rating I give this guy, he's a solid 7.5. He is Gucci, he's not Fucci, so hope you enjoy him. And let me know how you end up liking him. Thank you guys for watching. This has been FIFA Beetle again. See ya.